Jerry Falwell is founder of Thomas Road Baptist Church, Liberty Christian Academy, which was known as Lynchburg Christian Academy, Liberty University, and the Moral Majority. Falwell was born in August of 1933 in Lynchburg, Virginia. His father was once a bootlegger and his grandfather was an atheist. He um, was married in 1958 and he had three children with his wife. Their son Jerry is a lawyer and um, took over as the Chancellor of Liberty University after his father died. Jonathan is a senior pastor at Thomas Road Baptist and their daughter Jenny is a surgeon. He founded Thomas Road Baptist Church in 1956 at the age of 22. They went on to become a mega church and he also had the old time gospel hour on radio and television. His son Jonathan took over as senior pastor of the church when his father died. Now surprisingly during the 1950s and 60s, Falwell was spoke against civil rights acts and the desegregation of public schools. Liberty Christian Academy that he founded was considered only a school for white students at the time. Now, during this time, the IRS revoked the tax-exempt status of some private schools that did not allow interracial dating. Falwell complained about this publicly. Regarding the Brown versus Board of Education ruling, he said, If Chief Justice Warren and his associates had known God's word and had desired to do the Lord's will, I am quite confident the 1954 decision would never have been made. The facilities should be separate. When God has drawn a line of distinction, we should not attempt to cross that line. 1971, Falwell founded Liberty University, which is considered the largest Christian university in the world. He helped found the Moral Majority, which was a political organization for conservative Christians, and he was directly against the traditional Baptist idea of separating religion and politics. He was known for speaking to prisoners and for being a strong advocate of the church being the cornerstone of families. Falwell also felt as though the Vietnam War needed to be fought more aggressively to end an evil in North Vietnam. In his book, America Can Be Saved, he wrote that, I hope I live to see the day when, as in the early days of our country, we won't have any public schools. The churches will have taken them over again, and Christians will be running them. He was also very outspoken in his condemnation of homosexuality. He was even known for saying that the LGBT organization angered God, and that is why God allowed the September 11th attacks to happen. He later retracted that statement, though. Later in his life, he was known for being more open to the LGBT community, just saying that um, he disagreed with their lifestyles, but he hated the sinner. He hated the sin, not the sinner. From the 70s, 60s on, Falwell was involved in many legal matters, including cases against Penthouse, Hustler, Jerry Sloan, and etc. This stuck up most of his time. Um, I'm sorry, in the 1960s. Falwell died in May of 2007 of cardiac arrhythmia. Um, he's buried on Liberty University's campus near the Carter um, Glass Mansion. Now, Falwell's legacy is mixed and often a source of controversy. Many say he was a great leader of social conservatism and evangelist ministries, and that he paved the way for um, conservatives um, and Baptists to be more involved with politics, while others accuse him of hate speeches and intolerance to other um, and uh, a lot of the focus is on his opinion on the civil rights movement and um, his opinions on the LGBT community. Regardless, Falwell will go down, go down as a very influential man, um, not only just in our country, but for religion and the world in general.